Hello everybody, Windstorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Africa campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, uh, we ended up at war with half the planet, to put it succinctly. Uh, if we look at the diplomatic map, we are at war with half of Europe, all of North, well, most of North America, and almost the entirety of South America. So, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. And at the time it was happening, I was like, what in the world is going on? And I think I have sorted out some of what actually happened. So, initially, we were at war with the United States and Britain. And, well, Nigeria. We defeated Nigeria, forcing them to capitulate. And then, you know, in an effort to limit the ability of the... Uh, United States and Great Britain to operate in this region of the ocean, I went ahead with a plan to take these two islands, Ascension and St. Helena. As soon as I dropped my troops on Ascension Island and took a piece of British territory, NATO appears to have activated. So all, well, the members of NATO all joined a faction you know, basically created a whole new faction. And then all of the NATO members were basically pulled into the war. Which brought most of Europe into the war. Well, interestingly, not all of them. And then, at some point, some there must have been an event that fired, I guess, when we got to about 100%. Um threat generation. We've generated 99% of world tension. Um, a couple of things happened. One, NATO switched over and became the North American Union, with Canada, the United States, Great Britain, and uh, several of the uh, European states. I think it was at this point that just kind of way things ended up is that it, we went into a peace conference with Nigeria, so we were able to actually I don't think that that there is the possibility of that being because I think this is now mine. Yeah, yeah, we own it. We control it. So I don't actually need to garrison this anymore so I can have my Marines do other things. Um, so that was a bit odd. And then the uh, preemptive defense of South America treaty formed. And all the South American nations joined it. Well, almost all of them. All of them. Except for the ones that are already in the Eurasian Union. Like, uh, Ecuador. That's what it is, right? Yeah. And, uh... Oddly enough... Poland? Uh... I can never remember which what order these are in. Okay, Lithuania and Latvia... And Denmark also joined the preemptive defense of South America Treaty. Well, and a bunch of these guys, too. Croatia, Hungary, Romania. Um, Greece apparently has as well. And since a lot of these countries were already at war with me, they then pulled the rest of the South American countries into the war. So that's how we ended up where we're at. So we went from a fairly iffy situation to a pretty bad one. Um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to play it out, we're going to see how it goes. Now, one thing we need to do is, I checked this out... All this island has, uh, St. Helena, it just has a naval base. It doesn't have an air base yet. Um, so it's not that critical that we take that. What it is critical is we retake this island. Uh, Bloco? Bioko. Right. Because that does have an airfield on it, a fairly large one that we actually built, as well as a pretty good naval base. So we need to retake that so that they can't put a lot of planes up in the air. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our paratroopers, we're going to delete their orders, and we're going to have them do an airdrop. Now, the problem is, we can't drop all the way there. But, we have 100 transports sitting right here. We can get there. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to leave behind six divisions to hold the island. I'm going to take the other six divisions, and I'm going to drop them there. And tell them to just go right now, because we have the air superiority. If we wait too long, we're going to lose air superiority, and we're not going to be able to do this. So. Oh, crap. Come on, get on there, get on there. Alright, good. They dropped. Alright, do a second. Para drop. Bam, got it. Alright, and those divisions are going to stay there and guard that island. Alright. Now I could send... Well, they lost a lot of equipment. In that process. That's really interesting. That means there are no enemy aircraft over the Gulf of Guinea. Very, very good. Uh, let's see. India wants to send volunteers. They want to send seven divisions. I will take your seven divisions, India. Okay. Now, what we do is we sit down and we bunker in and try not to die. Um... We are also going to try to build more divisions, build more ships, build more planes. Just especially more ships and planes. We need a lot of ships. We're going to need a lot of planes. And a lot of good planes, which we don't really have right now. So that's going to have to be an effort we're going to have to focus on. Now, if you are paying close attention, you also notice that I have a rather large pool of manpower. Um, compared to where we were at before. One caveat that I have allowed myself, is that I have a mod that increases the amount of recruitable population you can get from non-core states. I looked at some mods that would allow you to actually core states, but they appeared to have compatibility issues with some of the larger total conversions, and I didn't want to necessarily kind of throw them in the game that's in progress so i just was a little bit worried about doing that the the manpower mod to just make the non-core states give us more manpower um is a lot simpler a lot easier and more direct so i mean it doesn't give us anywhere near as much as core states but it gives um a bit more than normally well, quite a bit more actually okay so we just finished our new um last of our new cruisers and actually I want to give that a name because I get, did give these cruisers a class name I called them Afaja class named after the largest mountain in Ghana and I named the you know the uh, Afaja the Aduadu which is another mountain uh, Tagbo which is a waterfall located in that area and we're gonna be naming this the GNS uh, Lee. There. Alright, so we need to start building more things. We need more destroyers. They're going into the home fleet. They're getting prioritized for resources. There we are. Uh, we're going to build. Let's say 15. Uh, let's say 10 destroyers. 
All right, we can make 9.3 per year. That's pretty good. Um, then we got to name those. I'm probably going to name those off after other geological um, formations, probably rivers. I'll have to see if I can come up with 10 river names. Well, we can do it not only just Ghana, but in some of the other places like um, Nigerian, some other places that we've conquered. Um, we can get some river names. Just general in Africa. Alright, seven Indian divisions have arrived. Interestingly, I did look at this. India will accept us into their faction if we had 30% non-aligned outlook, which we don't, and it's dropping. Oh, I don't know. Daily change minus 0 0.01. Has three non-aligned neighbors plus 0 0.01. Okay, so they're actually offsetting each other. For one election, Paul Kagame re-elected. All right, what do we have here? We have more Marines, more Marines. We have more paratroopers, more paratroopers. And those paratroopers, I think, we're going to para-drop. Because I don't dare send them over the water. Alright, the marines. Yeah, let's try this. Let's clear your uh, garrison commands. And... I'm actually going to bring the Marines over here to the Senegalese border. Or maybe these guys' border. But just over here. Just over here in general. Because we do have to start coming up with a plan as to how we are actually going to potentially win this war. Alright, Zambian election. Edgar Lungu re-elected. Now... We may say that trying to come across into South America might be the better option. Trying to get a foothold in the Crux Federation. They have 90 some odd divisions. It would not be easy. So we would have to have at least an army of that size. And then start absorbing South America and then make our push towards North America. Now, but to do that, we're either going to need good long-range transport planes to airdrop. And then are we going to only really use airborne troops? But we're going to need to be able to control the seas. Which we're going to need ships. Lots and lots of ships. And we're going to need aircraft carriers. We do have an aircraft carrier design, but it's an old design that's archaic. It really isn't that useful. And these things take like a thousand days to finish. Research. Three years. I think that the current aircraft carriers only have a deck space of 10. I'm just like, man. Alright, how are we doing for planes? We're short 30 units. And we are recovering our numbers as long as we don't get any actual air combat. And there are no actual planes here. So I think I'm going to just move these attack helicopters up there and make that green. Because there's no actual enemy aircraft there. Yeah, there we are.
Submarines also wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just a matter of we don't have any technology for it. Speaking of technology, do we need to grab another research slot? No, we do not. We can't. We are a building. Now, this is a mod that I implemented as well that should hopefully allow us to actually try to propose peace as long as we can meet the requirements. The thing is, is that it's reliant on the fact that the conscription laws are the same as vanilla, which I don't think they are. At least they're not named the same, so I don't know if it is going to work. But we'll see. Okay, it looks like that, uh, what is that, Ireland? No, or is that Italy? Alright, the United States is attempting to land divisions here. I could bring over some... So am I building any more airfield there? I'm gonna try and build a little bit more airfield there. Oh, they're trying again. Seems the game is having a lot of performance problems. With this mod for some reason. Oh, oh, hold on. I just remembered. We are justifying a war. Cancel that justification. We don't need it. I really hope some of these guys don't join. One of the factions that is fighting with me because that would be a pain in my butt. Well, that's interesting. That guy is in the Eurasian Union. So we can't get past him unless we want to go to war with Russia too, which I'd rather not at this point. I believe these are Crux Federation. Yeah, those are Crux Federation. Alright, so yeah, we've got 35 days to replace our fighters. Close air support is a long ways out. Attack helicopters, we're almost done replacing them. And we are pouring our factories into those three things. Okay, so they're planning the evil invasions, but they haven't initiated them yet.
Yeah, we have close air support over here. Alright, they're attempting to retake this island. Not gonna happen. Alright. Yep, looks like they've initiated their naval invasions. Alright, let's get them a little bit more reinforcements. So you only have one. Let's have you guys head there. That's the British. What are the casualties looking like? We've taken 13,000, we've inflicted 21 and a half thousand. The UK has lost 12,000 men. Italy's lost 181. The United States has lost 8,000. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. A lot of countries on that side. They have up to 2 million men in fielded manpower. We have 300,000. Which is actually not that far off. If we can get up to that level, which I'm not sure we can. I don't think we really need to either. We just need to get to a point where we can start knocking out individual nations. Right, just start wearing them down bit by bit. Alright, here we go. Two more naval invasions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody landed. Well, they didn't land at a port. So that's interesting. I am actually winning that fight. Are we being navally bombarded? We have air superiority. Who is this? It's Chile? Yeah, it's Chile. Alright, you can stay there. We won that. Oh, they brought in some more guys. Got one of our new destroyers. Alright, so... I think for now, what we're going to focus on as far as research... Is going to be ship designs and aircraft designs. My infantry is pretty good. My anti-tank missiles and my surface-to-air missiles could really use some work. 
but I don't think I'm that desperate for them. We've got 10 days for our new command and control equipment. How goes construction? Construction's looking good. We're just gonna let it build, and then uh, we are gonna queue things in as it finishes up. And actually, let's go ahead and prioritize a repair of that civilian factory so we can get that back working. Alright, for some reason, Chile is really wanting to land there. South Sudan has declared war on Kenya. Really? South Sudan. Not aligned. They have an upwards of 80 divisions. Declared war on Kenya, who are Western Outlook, who have 25 divisions. Doesn't look good for Kenya. But I do need to keep an eye on that. If Kenya decides to join one of the factions, that could potentially end up being a backdoor access to my territory. Which would not be great. Alright, switch up this equipment. And I think what we're gonna do is why we could go after this. It would be ahead by a bit. I do want to continue working on the tanks, right? So here's what we'll do. Tanks and small arms will continue to work. Everybody else is going to switch over to planes and ships. Alright. Um, and I'd like to get up to second gen stealth. Thrust vectoring engines. Maritime Patrol Aircraft. Maritime Patrol Aircraft. Alright, they're trying. Are trying. Can we do anything here with this political power? Let's see... Drill for petroleum? Uh, can't quite do that yet. 
Develop infrastructure. Develop factories. Civilian factories. We're okay for oil, actually. Let's, let's, um... Let's develop a bunch of civilian factories. I'll give us five civilian factories. Do it. Basically for free. How goes our training? Oh, we don't have any location set for these guys? I just took them over there somewhere. Probably go after develop military factories next because that'll give us five military factories. All right, so we're getting toward the end of the episode. So I guess we'll go ahead and call it here. Oh, new divisions. What do we got? More Marines. More paratroopers. Good. Probably send those paratroopers over here. Alright, so. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop it here. We have not yet died. So we're going to keep on going. We're gonna see how things play out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.